Welcome to Zoom Study Life YouTube channel. Hope you are doing very well in your studies. Today's lesson is a revolving past year chemistry exam questions for another set of 2022 multiple choice questions. In this paper, it consists of another 20 questions and it's actually a con continuation from part one. And uh, based on the statistic that I shown on the front screen, it's indicate that the total number of uh, metal questions is about 30% and the rest will be come from others. And most of the questions are from chapter 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And including making self filtration. Without further ado, let's get started. Element in group 4 of the periodic tables are shown. Carbon, silicon, germanium, tin, and lead, which does not occur in group 4 as it is a descendant. Carbon consists of 6 atom or proton number. Silicon consists of 14 atom or proton number. Germanium consists of 32 atoms or proton number. Tin consists of 50 atoms or proton number. And lead consists of 82 atoms or proton number. So what does not occur in group 4 is the element have more electrons in there outer shell. Which statement about acid is correct? The first one, acid are proton acceptor. Acid are proton donor and bases are proton acceptor. So A is wrong. Acid are substances which neutralize base to form a salt and water. So the reactions between hydrochloric acid with ammonium hydroxide result in the formation of ammonium chloride and water. So the correct answer for acid is ethanoic acid partially ionizes in aqua solutions. Which elements have both a high melting point and variable oxidation state? So refer to chapter metals Transition element properties, in terms of physical properties, they have high melting and boiling point. Example, chromium. The melting point is 1857 Celsius. While a sodium, the melting points or boiling point is about 98. The melting point is about 98 Celsius. So the transition element has more than one oxidation state in their compound. So the answer for 23 is B, transition elements. Lithium, sodium, and potassium are grouped in one. Elements in group one of the periodic table. Chlorine, bromine, and iodine are elements in group seven of the periodic table. Which role identify the least dense of this element in each group? Let's look, Let's look into the explanation that we have. Lithium chloride density is about 2.068 centimeter cube. Lithium iodine density is about 4.08 gram or centimeter cube. And potassium chloride density is about 2.34 gram or centimeter cube. And potassium iodine density about 3.12 gram per centimeter cube. So the answer for these questions is would be A. The reactions of P, Q, R, and S are shown. So what is the order of reactivity of the metal? So normally, let's look into the reactions with water. Okay, from P, no reactions. Then we go to very slow, which is PS. And then we go to slow and then vigorous. So P, S, Q, R. The answer should be an A. 
the number of protons and the number of neutrons in the atoms of element X, Y, and Z are shown. So X consists of 6 protons and 6 neutrons. Y consists of 7 protons and 6 neutrons. And Z consists of 8 protons and 10 neutrons. Let's look. What is the elements for X, Y, and Z? X is represent carbon. Y represent nitrogen. And Z is actually oxygen. So, the answer for this is X, Y, and Z are non-metal. Which diagram represents the arrangement of atom in an alloy? Refer to chapter metals alloy. An alloy is a mixture made up of either two or more different metal and non-metal. Many alloy are mixtures of transition elements. So, the answer for this question would be D. Three metal compounds J, K, and L are heated using Bunsen burner. The results are shown. J, colorless gas produced, which relies a glowing spleen. K, colorless gas produced, which turn lime water milky. And L is actually no reaction. Which row identify J, K, and L? Let's look what is J represent. J is actually potassium nitrate. It decomposes into potassium nitrate and oxygen when heated. And nitric acid is formed when potassium nitrate combined with hydrochloric acid. And to distill the nitric acid, add concentrated sulfuric acid to dry potassium nitrate and melt the mixture, mixture over heat. So to distill the nitric acid, add concentrated sucric acid to dry potassium nitrate and melt the mixture over heat. And it will produce colorless gas, which are really like a glowing spleen. And K is actually is a magnesium carbonate. And when magnesium oxide is burned, it turns into a white powder. And that is a colorless gas produced. And magnesium provides two electrons to oxygen atom to produce these powdered substances. And we can say that it produces colorless gas and which turn the land water milky. And finally, we have potassium carbonate and which is, is a water soluble. And this acid compound will not fizz or burst. It's appear to have no effect, no reactions basically. So I would say that the answer is potassium nitrate, magnesium carbonate, and the potassium carbonate. So the answer would be C. And let's look into the um, number 29. Processes involved in the extraction of zinc are listed. So, in which order are the process being carried out? So, we have number four turns to be number one, rose zinc or in air, and then followed by number one, we heat zinc outside with carbon, and then number three is we vaporize the zinc, and finally, we have number two as a number four condensate vapor. So we have four, one, three, and two. The answer will be C. And which process uses sacrificial protection? So we have four process here. So which process uses sacrificial protections to prevent steel from rusting? So the answer for this will be galvanizing. Galvanizing is the process when iron is coated in zinc. The process is called galvanizing. And the zinc layer stops oxygen and water reaching the iron. So zinc is more reactive than iron. So it also acts as a sacrificial metal. Okay, so for the number 30, the answer would be A. Fertilizer are used to provide three of the elements needed for plant growth. 
which two compound would give a fertilizer containing all three of these elements? I think this question is already come up in the first set for 2022. And the answer would be the same, which is refer to chapter carbon, nitrogen, sulfur, and the compound. KNO3 is actually the potassium nitrate. And NH4, 3PO4 is actually ammonium phosphate. And we have nitrogen represent N and phosphorus P and potassium is K. Most fertilizer contain ammonium salt and phosphate. So ammonium phosphate, ammonium sulfate, potassium, ammonium phosphate. So the answer would be B. And which process produce carbon dioxide? Okay, once, as we know, is a respiration. And photosynthesis uses carbon dioxide and water to assemble carbohydrate uh, molecule and release oxygen into the air. And uh, we have fermentation and combustion of hydrogen. Combustion reaction is produce heat. It's not produced carbon dioxide, similar to exothermic reaction. So the answer would be 1 and 3 A. Let's look into which reaction in the contact process require the use of a catalyst. Okay, let's look into which reaction below A, B, S, C, and D, which the contact require the use of catalyst. So in this case, uh, the B, 2SO2 plus O2 oxygen to produce 2SO3. So in this process, it uses vanadium oxide, V2O5. It's used as a catalyst in this reaction. And what are the products where limestone or calcium carbonate is heated strongly? So when limestone is heated to high temperature, it forms calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. So the answer would be C. And the structure of Easter W is shown. This is the structure of Easter, which will give the name of Easter W and the carboxylic acid and alcohol from which it is made. So in this, the reaction, a carbolic acid or ethanol acid react with alcohol or methanol to produce ester they call methyl ethanol. The answer would be C. And ethane react with substance X to form ethanol. What is X? So the answer would be steam. Why steam? Ethanol can be manufactured by hydration of ethane. Ethene is heated with steam, okay, it's steam in the presence of catalyst of phosphoric acid to produce ethanol. C2H4 plus H2O during high temperature. And you know that ethanol, the, the uh, is ethanol. And then, so what is an X? X in this case is steam. Alkene can be produced by cracking large hydrocarbon molecule to form smaller hydrocarbon molecule. So which equation represents possible reaction when tetradecane C14H30 is cracked? Let's look into this. When C14H30 and C2H6 plus C3H6, plus C4H8, plus C5H10. So from this statement, you can have the carbon is about 14 and hydrogen is 30. This is for number one. Number two is also, you have carbon about 14 and you have hydrogen about 30. And also you have three also come Cross carbon consists of about 14 and hydrogen is about 30. But other than that, it's not the same. So I would say that the option is 1, 2, and 3. So C is the answer. 
And the structure of some hydrocarbon are shown. You can see. So what are these? The first one is a propane. Number two is is butane, and number three is C four H ten. Is also the type of methyl propane, and number four is also the type of C four H ten, which is methyl propane. So I would say that which statement about the hydrocarbon is correct. So three and four have the same empirical formula. So you can see three and four have the same empirical formula. So the answer would be D. Which statement about unsaturated hydrocarbon is correct? So I would say that uh, this is actually come out in the previous paper. So the answer would say, I would say that an unsaturated hydrocarbon is a type of hydrocarbon which has at least one double bond, triple bond or ring in its carbon change. So the answer would be, the answer for this question would be unsaturated hydrocarbon have double bond between carbon and hydrogen atom. And finally, for 40, which polymer structure has the same linkages as sterling? So I would say that the answer is B. Why not C? Because sterling has an ester linkage and it is a polymer of ethylene glycol with terephthalic acid and there will be no NH. So that's the difference between B and C. So the answer would be B. With that being said, I wish you all the best in your study. And please subscribe to John Study Line YouTube channel. And follow me at John Study Line Instagram. If you want to have a customized note, uh, you can access to the Beacon link page uh, through is either direct to beacon beacon page or you can access the link through jom sadila instagram by clicking the link at the instagram link to beacon page so thank you very much